Welcome to Kick Ass Radio, hosted by Joe Sainsbury, founder of Kick Ass Women. Join Joe over the next hour as she shares stories and conversations that are both inspiring and empowering. Having spent over 30 years in the corporate sector, Joe Sainsbury kicked off her heels and became a coal train driver working in the rail and mining industry. It has been her goal ever since to empower and support women who are considering a career change into an industry role, making the transition as smooth as possible. Jo is a walking, talking success story of how taking the plunge into industry can open up a world of opportunity. And you can do it too. If you're a woman working in industry or considering a career change, this is the radio station for you. Let's get into this episode of Kick-Ass Radio. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Kick-Ass Radio show. Hope you've had a fantastic week and getting ready to reset and refresh over the weekend. I myself have had a great week with an introduction and enlightenment last weekend with some woo-woo Zen meditation techniques and some great Abraham Hicks meditation recordings. So I went into the week applying some of the insights and I must say it makes a hell of a difference to the clarity mind. My number one tip this week is if you haven't ever tried some form of meditation, step out of that comfort zone and get into the Zen zone with an open mind and give it a go over the weekend as part of your reset and refresh. It really makes a difference. So let me give you something else to reflect on over the couple of days over the weekend. And it might be a place where everyone is at the moment or some of you are. So today on the show, we're talking about evaluating your career. Should you stay or should you go? And that's the Clash's 80s hit song, Should I Stay or Should I Go? I won't attempt to sing it for you. It's made a comeback. If the song is a constant refrain in your life for a different reason, it may be time to take stock of your career. In this current crisis, you might be seriously reevaluating your career and questioning the direction in which you're heading. A crisis has a way of highlighting what is really important in both life and in business. It's the perfect time for personal and professional reflection. Current times offer a chance for a fresh outlook and renewed energy. There's no better time to consider your options or if, you're always, if yours are limited, create new ones. You are listening to the Kick-Ass Radio Show, Kickstar, where we talk about all things women working in non-traditional roles in varied male-dominated industries, and I tell you how it is. Today is episode 10, all about evaluating your career. Now, I'm your host, Joe Sainsbury. I'm the glow getter. My background is I'm no stranger to wearing high-vis workwear and getting down and dirty in the coal and grease. My passion and purpose is to reinforce confidence, support and encourage more women to kick off their heels and tap into their steel caps and to consider pursuing non-traditional roles and careers as I share my knowledge, career experiences and understanding of the industries. So here we are on the radio show and I'm really excited to be sharing some insights and some know-how. Today's um, show is brought to you by one of our sponsors, Brenjo's Earth Moving and we thank you for their continued support. Good morning to all our listeners across Australia and a very pleasant good afternoon to our listeners in the US. I hope we can keep you in good company and provide you all with a little more valued insight into some much needed topics for women wanting to transition into varied industry sectors. And I'll also take this opportunity to say that the show may contain and does contain some adult language. So let's get on with it. And a big shout out to all the women working out on track and on all work sites today, all over the globe. And I'll just pass on a little bit of um, condolences to uh, a legendary Australian family today. Or we've, overnight in Australia, we've lost one of our Australian sporting uh, cricketing legends, and that was Dean Jones. And he was a fantastic, sportsman and cricket player, batsman, smashing batsman back in the early 80s and was a critical role model in instigating some of the um, forward cricketing heroes that we have today. So our thoughts and well wishes and condolences to the Jones family and Dean will be very sorely missed by all the Australian public and the sporting world in, in total. 
Hey, Glow Getters. Did you know that Jo Sainsbury is a published author for her book, High Heels to High Viz, and has been named an Amazon number one bestseller? Telling the story about Jo's transition from the corporate sector into industry, High Heels to High Viz acts as a guide for women who are considering a non-traditional role and career. High Heels to High Viz is available for purchase online at all leading bookstores, including Amazon, Dimex, Waterstones and eBay. So for those looking to make a career change, have it tougher than most job seekers. If you're feeling mid-career blahs and aren't sure how to deal with it, it could be a career crossroads. Is it time for a change? Should you keep going on your current path? Whether you perceive a need to make a shift in the direction or your career or find yourself compelled to change based on market conditions. So before you hand in your resignation, there are steps you'll need to take to navigate a career change proactively, very proactively. So grab a pen and a piece of paper or your job search notebook and answer some or all of these self-assessment questions. Dig deeply for your personal reality as you need to define every element before you evaluate where you're at. Let's kickstart a bit of a strategy for you. Step one, assess yourself. This is first and foremost and the most crucial of your evaluation. Start by looking inward. A strategic career change begins by assessing your career path to date, including your work history, achievements, skills, interests, values, passions, gifts, and preferred work environment. Consider what you want next. Are you ready for a change or having one fostered on you? If the former identify with what you need and will satisfy you in a new role, is the latter Clarify the most critical issues for you and your family, such as wages, relocation, and lifestyle choices. Gather all of these elements into a checklist. You will use them to compare your options after you've done your career change homework. Now is the time to ask some very important questions about what you're doing now and where you've been. Are you in a field that you chose decades ago, right out of school, because it felt like the right choice at the time? Do you still feel like it was the right choice? Have you moved as far as you can in your, in your role or in your field as you would like to have? Do you feel burnt out because you no longer feel fulfilled by what you're doing? Or would minor changes make your life better in the same job? Answer these questions first. Do I make a difference in that I am trusted and respected? No matter what you do, you probably already are someone at your workplace. People know you. In many cases, people love you. Why not? Just look at you. There are a few more powerful things than the basic human desire of feeling connected, feeling known, feeling heard. Don't discount the importance of working somewhere you have a track record, a reputation, a brand. That's not saying you will never be like somewhere else, of course but don't undervalue the importance of what you've already created right where you are. The relationships you've grown and the reputation you've earned are worth measuring as you think about change. And there's a special note to leaders out there worried about their turnover. One of the simplest yet most powerful things you can do to retain your best people is to invest your time in getting to know and understand them better. Shut up and listen to what they're saying and not saying. Ask deeper questions rather than staying on the surface. Wanting to know and connect on a deeper level is a great antidote to attrition because people can't feel valued unless they feel seen and heard. Hi, I'm Jo Sainsbury, founder of Kick-Ass Women. As a woman working in industry, I want to share my knowledge and experience and industry know-how to support you if a change in your life is what you are looking for. Join me on my radio show, Kick-Ass Radio, every Friday morning at 10 a.m. across Australia or on Thursday afternoon at 5 p.m. in the U.S. What are you waiting for? Go on, get your glow on. Okay, so thanks for tuning back in. So I thought it was about time to introduce a weekly segment to recognise some extraordinary achievements and contributions women have made and continue to make in our unbalanced world of the rail, mining, resources, STEM and construction industries. Kick-ass women making waves. We live in an exciting period of history. The groundswell for change to a more gender balanced world is growing, with people speaking up and demanding equal opportunity for all women in all walks of life. 
women are making their own noise about equality and achievements in all sectors of industry in a world that often serves up extra hurdles for females. These women are trailblazers who through courage and perseverance challenge the status quo, defying societal norms with the love of their work and improving the quality of life for many. They are mothers, daughters, sisters. They are worthy to be honoured. So each week I'm going to spotlight one of these extraordinary women who are making a difference and that are inspiring role models that we have the privilege to work alongside every day. So to kickstart our kick-ass women making wave spotlight is Lani Mackay. Lani holds the position of Anglo-American underground digital transformation lead and is based in Moorumbah, Queensland and has more than 25 years experience in the mining industry. Lani is the lead innovator of the first electronic tablet device certified for unrestricted use in underground coal mining in Australia. Lani has been recognised as the winner of the inaugural Technological Innovation Award at the recent 2020 Women in Resources Awards. The tablets which were rapidly deployed across Anglo-Americans underground metallurgical coal operations in Queensland last year have helped launch an era of digitisation for the mining industry. They capture and share real-time safety, production and environmental monitoring information with operators, ensuring critical information is readily available to key personnel and removing the need for paper records. They have also helped enhance safety systems by providing underground crews with immediate access to important safety information and enabling video calls to technical experts on the surface when required. Lani is proud to have been recognised for a project that has been a passion of hers for a long time and that she knows will have an impact on the industry in the future. The development of an intrinsically safe tablet was a considerable challenge, taking around five years and involving extensive work with mining engineers and manufacturing partners to ensure the product was fit for purpose and pass an extensive certification process. Lani says there are a wide range of future focused opportunities available in the mining industry and encourages young women who are interested in pursuing a career in technology to consider what the industry can offer and to take advantage of the opportunities available in the sector. Congratulations, Lani Mackay. You are a kick-ass woman making waves. Thanks for tuning back in. So I thought it was about time to introduce a weekly segment to recognise extraordinary achievements and contributions women have made and continue to make in our unbalanced world of the rail, mining, resources, STEM and construction industries. We live in an exciting period of history. The groundswell for change to a more gender balanced world, it's growing, people speaking up and demanding equal opportunity for all women in all walks of life. Women are making their own noise about equality and achievements in all sectors of industry in a world that often serves up extra hurdles for females. These women are trailblazers who through courage and perseverance challenge the status quo, defying societal norms with the love of their work and improving the quality of life for many. They are mothers, daughters, sisters. They are worthy to be honoured. So each week, I'm going to spotlight one of these extraordinary women who are making a difference and that are inspiring role models that we have the privilege to work alongside with every day. So to kickstart our kick-ass women making wave spotlight is, I need a drum roll, Lani Mackay. Lani holds a position of Anglo-American underground digital transformation lead and is based here in Moorumbah in Queensland and has more than 25 years experience in the mining industry. Lani is the lead innovator of the first electronic tablet device certified for unrestricted use in underground coal mining in Australia. Lani has been recognised as the winner of the inaugural Technological Innovation Award at the recent 2020 Women in Resources Awards. The tablets, which were rapidly deployed across Anglo-Americans underground metallurgical coal co operations in Queensland last year, have helped launch an era of digitisation for the mining industry. They capture and share real-time safety, production and environmental monitoring information with operators, ensuring critical information is readily available to key personnel and removing the need for paper records. They have also helped enhance safety systems by providing underground, coal, uh, underground crews sorry, with immediate access to important safety information and enabling them to have video calls to technical experts that are back up on the surface when required. 
Lani is proud to have been recognised for a project that has been a passion of hers for a long time and that she knows will have an impact on the industry in the future. The development of this intrinsically safe tablet was a considerable challenge, taking around five years and involving extensive work with mining engineers and the manufacturing partners to ensure the product was fit for purpose and passed an extensive certification process. And Lani says there are a wide range of future focused opportunities available in the mining industry and encourages young women who are interested in pursuing a career in technology to consider what the industry can offer and to take advantage of the opportunities available in the sectors. So congratulations, Lani Mackay. You are a kick-ass woman making waves. Okay, we'll come back in another little minute and we'll round out the show. Hey, Glow Getters. Have you heard about kick-ass women? Founded by Joe Sainsbury, Kick-Ass Women is dedicated to empowering and supporting women who are considering a career change into an industry role. Visit our brand new website at www.kickasswomen.com.au or follow Kick-Ass Women on Facebook and LinkedIn today to keep up to date with all things Kick-Ass Women and the incredible opportunities and content we have for you. See you there, glow getters. Okay, so let's recap. Over the need to reevaluate your life can come from a lot of different scenarios. Perhaps you've just lost your job or you've been made redundant. Maybe a long-term relationship has ended or maybe you've just found yourself depressed, unsatisfied or antsy with your current situation. Hot news. Every single one of those has happened to me over the course of the years. So there's some lived experience in this content. Reevaluating your life is usually the first step in making a major change a positive step towards a more suitable career or living situation or even mental attitude. However, it's making sure that you're making the right change that's tricky. Often the situations that require a flashlight reevaluation re are ones in which our critical faculty are somewhat impaired from an excess of sadness, from stress, or even from shock. When this happens, we need to make sure we've got the right critical framework set up so that we don't make a rash wrong or just plain dumbass decisions. So don't stop believing. The first thing you have to do is step in and consider what your big amorous grand life goal is. This is the thing that keeps you going. Perhaps it's to become a business owner or to become the manager of your existing place of employment or the manager of the industry you want to get into, whatever. It might be to have a happy life or to experience all you can. The important thing is that it's bigger than a simple task-based goal. It's a goal with many levels, much like a spiral staircase. You'll probably be climbing it in one form or another until you're dead. And that's fine. It's just that big. Now that you're re-evaluating your life, it's worth checking in on this goal. Does it still excite you? Do you still respond to its sweet siren call? Or is it perhaps a little tarnished and filling you with a feeling of inescapable dread? No answer is wrong. If this is still a dream you believe in, then it's about shifting your methods of reaching it, trying new tacks and renewing your energy in some way. If for whatever reason you've decided your dream is ultimately toxic or bad for you, then that's a strong important step. Write out exactly what that's providing you with a negative experience and put that to one side. Then write out what was that that you wanted in the first place and put that to another side. We need to take baby steps. Lists are the key to creating a realistic step, set of steps to help you reach your major goal. And remind yourself of that spiral staircase. Once you've got a direction to head towards, it's time to work out how the hell you're going to get there. I like to work with a five year plan. It's essentially ludicrous to think that you can actually plan past that. And really you'll probably find that things start getting messy around the 18 month mark but you can always stop, reevaluate, and listen. Work through the five-year plan in a linear fashion. Give yourself places to work towards, achievable and functional plans that require work and provide substantive results. And don't get confused with your overall motivation, which hangs over this all like an inspirational cloud. These sorts of things could be moving cities, increasing your training or studying, applying for grants and opportunities, scholarships, traveling and more. Most importantly, hack out your immediate future, say from the next month to the end of the year with potential tasks. At this point, it's not so much about having a realistic schedule, 
but to surround yourself with opportunity. Each of these opportunities has to help you get towards your overall goal in some way, in either tiptoes or leaps and bounds. Now there's pros and cons. Once you've got a whole bunch of options, it's time to work out what the best ones for you are. After all, you can't do everything and it's harmful to even try. The best way to do this is with a nice, complete pro and con list. You know I love lists. The trick with a pro and con list is to think both of the realities of what you're deliberating and also the less definable criteria. So for example, you may be discussing taking a job in a new town or a new city. So the points you might think of could be, is it an increase in wages and salary? Does it provide better living conditions and a more interesting role in the company? You know, a, a more challenging job, job role or tasks. However, don't be afraid to also think about the things that aren't strictly related to the job itself. In the con list, you might have, you know, it's living further away from family. The new town or city, it's always stinking hot and humid, or it's the opposite, it's always freezing cold, or you hate the dust and the, and the dirt. While these points might not individually be deal makers or breakers, when viewed holistically, they can help sway your decisions. Essentially, what all this does is provide you with a list of goals, but more importantly, gives you a sense of cohesion and determination about both why you're working towards them and how to achieve that. Even if the actual physical act of making lists and pro and con columns isn't something you stick to in the long run, you've taken the time to sit down and consider your tra trajectory. You've removed the temptation for irrational spur of the moment decisions, and you've started the journey of re-evaluating your life. And then next time you have to think about what to do next, you can pull out your last re-evaluation and contrast and compare. Many people are intimidated by the idea of making a midlife career change, especially because they buy into the myth that people who are 50 or older will face significant issues with ageism. However, experts have indicated that age plays a much smaller role in candidates' odds of getting a job than is commonly believed. In fact, the majority of hiring managers and recruiters are much more focused on the particular skills and background experience that each individual will bring to their company and the value of that. With this in mind, people who have reached the midlife point should never settle for sticking with a career that they are no longer satisfied with. So how common are midlife career changes? According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average baby boomer will have approximately 11 jobs by the time they turn 46, although half of these jobs will come earlier in life. It is interesting to note that the baby boomer generation has steered clear of the more traditional path of finding a solid company and sticking with them for several decades. This is partially caused by the continuously changing economy, but there are also psychological aspects at work. After all, most of the boomer generation grew up watching their parents hold down difficult jobs that did not necessarily satisfy them emotionally. Therefore, it is natural that baby boomers made the decision to look for more rewarding work. But this is also which leads to an increase in job changes. Statistics indicate that 56% of all workers are currently interested in switching to a new career. And it is not surprising that midlife workers have had a big impact on that number. Why should you consider career changing? Whether you are unhappy in your current industry or at risk of being downsized due to economic challenges, it makes sense to consider a midlife career change to increase your personal satisfaction and ability to make a good living. However, it will be imperative to carefully evaluate all of your options before you make the leap. Each person needs to look for a career that they can be passionate about and perform competently. But there are definitely some industries that are easier for a midlife worker to break into. So here I'm going to let you in on a couple of secrets four secrets, in fact, to help you decide, should you stay or should you go? Secret number one, you don't have to leave your job to change your life at work. What if everything you need at work was actually right in front of you right now? Here's a surprising fact. Often it is. You're unhappy or frustrated at work because something needs to change, but you have more power than you realise to make that change you need right where you are. Yes, that means that maybe you don't have to throw yourself into the job market. You likely have more options than you realise to change your life at work without changing everything in your life. 
but you're going to have to do a few things. You're going to have to get clear about who you are right now, what you really want from your work. Challenge your assumptions about what's possible and take a hard, honest look at what's real and get into the focused action to have bigger, sometimes tougher conversations to create the change you want. It's all doable. You actually do have options right where you are. Yes, even you in your profession, with your experience, in your town, in your company, in this economy. And these aren't pie in the sky fantasy options. They're the real deal for the real you. Once you understand the secret that you don't have to leave your job to change your life at work, you're ready for real change that can make all the difference. Secret number two, there are just three things you need in order to start looking for your next opportunity. Just three. Sounds a lot simpler than the thousands of things I've previously, <coughs> excuse me, said other people telling you even that you need, right? Time after time, these magic three things continue to be true. Clarity. You may know what you don't want, your current boss, your commute to work, the schedule, your wages, etc. But what the hell do you want? You've got to get brave and get clear about not only what you want, but who you are and what's important to you right now. Confidence is the next. What do you believe about yourself or what stories are you telling yourself? Building your confidence and winning the battle of the brain can create change in an instant. Then there's control. Yes, you can control your experience at work whether you stay right where you are and initiate changes or whether you start an external search. If, you if you're feeling your boss control, it's time to use proven tools to get it back. Have you got those three things? If not, focus there first. Secret three, your next step doesn't have to be your last, no matter how old you are. Are you too old for some things? Well, if it's hot pants and extreme sports, probably. But taking a new step in your working life? Today, the reality is it's never too late. Let's look at what's true. Vera Wang, the fashion designer, didn't start designing clothes until she was 39. Ray Kroc was 51 when he stumbled upon the hamburger stand that later became and is still McDonald's. Susan Boyle never sang professionally until her Britain's Got Talent debut at age 48. And Ronald Reagan wasn't elected to public office until he was 55. People are changing paths more often and even working longer, not just because they have to earn a living, but in many cases today, because they want to. They want to do meaningful work while they're alive. Increasingly, doing great work that works for you is not about your age. It's about your energy. Stop thinking that retirement is the end. For those of us born in the 60s or later, our official social security retirement age is now 67, not the assumed 65. So that's two more years than we may have already been thinking. Plus, why would you let social security decide how long you work? Have you noticed how many energetic, vibrant 70 plus old folks there are out there? If you've been feeling zapped of any spark in your current gig, isn't it time to get that spark back before you feel as old as you are? And remember this, no matter how old you are today, you're going to be older tomorrow. So why are you waiting? Then the secret number four, you're not alone. There's help. That's why we're here. And I think why you're here too. I'm so glad you're here. What I know from working with successful people just like you is that you can change your life at work without changing everything in your life. You just have to follow a proven process that helps you take focused steps towards your new decision. Remember, you're not helping anyone by staying stuck and continuing to wonder whether you should stay or whether you should go. It's time to decide, the world needs you. And a final note, at the end of the day, only you know when the time is right to leave. Be smart about your decision and not impulsive. Do this with positive thoughts. Coach yourself through it and know that the endings are a natural part of life. Leave your job because you want to. Don't wait until something has gone terribly wrong. Leave when you're happy to leave. Hi, Glow Getters. We're Brenjo's Earth Moving, 
a professional earth moving business specialising in a range of infrastructure works across a variety of industries, located in Mackay, Queensland. Here at Brenjo's, we're a family owned company backed by an incredible team. We've seen firsthand the incredible benefits that come from promoting and supporting a diverse workplace. We're so proud to be sponsoring Kick Ass Radio and Kick Ass Women's Mission to support women entering into non traditional roles and careers. So we're going to wind it down. Here's our take five. Whether you are unhappy in your current industry or are at risk of being downsized due to economic challenges, it makes sense to consider a midlife career change to increase your personal satisfaction and and the ability to make a good living. However, it will be imperative to carefully evaluate all of your options before you make the leap. So you take five to kick off those heels and evaluate. Number one, do a reality check. That's your self-assessment. Number two, do your research. That's about the industries and the jobs available. Number three is create your action plan. You need the strategy and you need the action plan or the roadmap to follow. Number four, retrain and upskill. Gain those additional skills or certifications that you're looking for. And number five is be willing to start over. Let's start at the bottom if you start on a new, in a new role. Be willing to adapt and to change. And lastly, here's your safety affirmation. Change is the essence of life. Be willing to surrender what you are for what you could become. And that's a break there. And we'll just go to the closing now. That's it, guys. I do hope you found the information helpful and valuable and it gives you something to reflect over on the weekend. And don't forget to try some of the woo-woo meditation. Many people change careers because they want the challenge of a new role, because of lifestyle changes or because of recognition or because of reorganisation, I meant to say, or layoffs. Before you make any decisions, perform the self-assessment and research the job opportunities to make sure they align with your skills and values. Once you've narrowed your focus, ask people in your network for advice. You may find a mentor in your organisation or in your chosen field who can help steer you in the right direction. Finally, changing careers can be stressful, whatever your reason for doing so. So limit your anxiety by being realistic and flexible, by setting incremental and achievable goals and by maintaining that positive attitude. As always, I really appreciate you guys giving your time to listen to the radio show. You can find more information on the episode in the show notes or on my social media pages either on facebook linkedin or instagram all right lovely love having you all share your time with me come back next week where we're going to talk about the ats applicant tracking system resume land and the resume black hole make sure to follow me on my kick-ass women or joe sainsbury social media pages if you haven't already where we will break down this episode throughout the week And I would really love to hear from you guys. So show some love for your new radio show by leaving me a review on BBS Radio Network. Or you can send me an email. My email is jody, J-O-D-Y, at kickasswomen.com.au. Or find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash kickasswomenaustralia. And be sure to stay tuned in for future episodes. Well, that's all for today's show. Thanks for your company and for listening to Kickass Radio. It's not goodbye, but see you later. Stay safe and well. You guys rock and have an amazing weekend. Go crush it. Keep in touch, POSCOMS. Go on, get your glow on. Become a glow getter. Hi, I'm Jo Sainsbury, founder of Kick-Ass Women. As a woman working in industry, I want to share my knowledge and experience and industry know-how to support you if a change in your life is what you are looking for. Join me on my radio show, Kick-Ass Radio, every Friday morning at 10 a.m. across Australia or on Thursday afternoon at 5 p.m. in the U.S. What are you waiting for? Go on, get your glow on. That's it, guys. I do hope you found the information helpful and valuable and it gives you something to reflect over on the weekend. And don't forget to try some of that woo-woo meditation I was telling you about. Many people change careers because they want the challenge of a new role because of lifestyle changes, or because of reorganisation or layoffs. Before you make any decisions, perform a self-assessment and research job opportunities to make sure they align with what your skills and your values are. Once you've narrowed your focus, 
ask people in your network for advice. You may find a mentor in your organisation or in your chosen field who can help steer you in the right direction. Finally, changing careers can be stressful, whatever your reason for doing so. So limit your anxiety by being realistic and flexible, by setting achievable and incremental goals, and by maintaining that positive attitude. Go back to that meditation. As always, I really appreciate you guys giving, you, giving me your time to listen to this radio show. You can find more information on this episode in the show notes or on my social media pages, either on Facebook or Instagram. All right, lovelies. Lovely having you all share your time with me. Come back next week where we're going to talk about the ATS, the Applicant Tracking System, Resume Land and the Resume Black Hole. Make sure to follow me on my Kick-Ass Women or Joe Sainsbury social media pages, if you haven't already, where we will break down this episode throughout the week. And I would really love to hear from you guys. So show some love for your new radio show by leaving me a review on BBS Radio Network. Or you can send me an email. My email is Jody J-O-D-Y, at kickasswomen.com.au. Or find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Australia. And be sure to stay tuned in for future episodes. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for your company and for listening to Kick-Ass Radio. It's not goodbye, but see you later. Stay safe and well. You guys rock. Have an amazing weekend and go crush it. Keep in touch. Poscoms. Go on, get your glow on. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Kick-Ass Radio, where we kick goals and deliver empowering conversations for women. Want to hear more from Kick-Ass Women and Joe Sainsbury? Visit the Kick-Ass Women website or follow Kick-Ass Women on Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram. See you on the next episode of Kick-Ass Radio.